In this episode, I'm gonna teach you how to fix an uneven elbow position when you put the barbell on your back for a back squat. I want you to have the capability to fully move the way your body was designed to, right? Jump up ahead, I'll take you back to where my problems lie. In trouble, younger daughter done some sh that made my mama cry. Out to the heavens like I bless him for I know he's lost. Caught in the trance and this manic depression settled in. Living in the fantasy world. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Dr. Aaron Horshaw from Squat University, and this is episode 38 of the Ask Squat You Show. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let's get to today's question. Today's question reads, when I squat, the bar sits straight on my back, but my elbows look completely different. My right side chicken wings out while my left side looks normal. Is this from a muscle imbalance as well? All right, so today we're going to be talking about fixing an unbalanced elbow position when the barbell is on your back. You'll find some people will be nice and pulled in close, while as when you go to the other side, that elbow's kicked out, maybe like a chicken wing pointing backwards. Now, I find that a lot of times this issue has to do with an imbalance in shoulder blade and shoulder strength and stability. So today what we're going to do is show you how to screen for that problem in two ways to fix it. One of the biggest limitations in getting symmetry in how you're holding the barbell on your back is external rotation strength of your shoulders. Now what you're gonna do to test this is you're gonna have your hands by your side like this. You're gonna have a friend come up and try to push your hands inward. Now what I want you to do is try to resist and maintain this position as strong as you can. Now what you'll find is that often people that have one arm that juts out and the other one stays in close is that one arm is probably going to fall in quicker than the other. That's showing that you have an imbalance in the way that your body is producing right now, external rotation, strength, torque, and stability of those arms, which is affecting how you hold the barbell on your back. What you can do if you found this problem is you can take a band, it can be any small resistance band, this is TheraBand, however you can do, use a long monster band loop as long as it's not as great of a resistance. You're gonna take that, hold it right in that same position, set your shoulder blades back, squeeze out to the side, and you're gonna hold this for about five to 10 seconds. Now you're gonna do a lot of reps to this, and if you're doing this correctly, you'll feel these muscles in the outside part of the shoulder start to burn pretty good. That means that you're engaging those muscles correctly. So from the side, this is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna set our shoulder blades back and down, out to the side, notice I have about an L position with my shoulders and my elbow. 10 seconds about, and then back like that. So you're gonna do a number of those, get back under the barbell after and see if it's easier for you maybe to have that elbow that was jutted back, now pulled back under and in a more stable position. Now the second thing I often find in people who have that issue is that they're not engaging their lats as much when they pull and squeeze under the barbell. So they're allowing their body to sit that weight mostly on their upper traps and shoulders and not fully pulling down on the barbell. Now what that's gonna do is engage your big lat muscles, that big V-shaped muscle that runs up your back and attaches to your shoulders. Now when that muscle is engaged and you pull down on that bar and lock your shoulder blades in, is it creates and aids in creating stability for your torso that allows you to have a very powerful squat. It also is going to make sure that you're not sustaining harmful forces at your shoulder joint that over time could create some nasty issues at the shoulder or even the elbow. So if you have elbow pain whenever you squat, think about this as well. So I'm gonna show you what that's gonna look like whenever you get under the barbell. So whenever you approach the barbell, when you pull yourself under, you wanna squeeze your shoulder blades back and down, pull down on the bar and create a ton of stiffness. So this is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna pull here, I'm pulling down under the barbell, I'm creating a ton of muscular stiffness, then come up. Now that is how you're going to lock in those lats and make sure that they're engaging symmetrically together. We're not engaging hard on one side and allowing that other elbow to pop up. So doing this correctly will limit that exaggerated elbow up position on one side and make sure that you're symmetrically pulling yourself under the bar and creating the right amount of stiffness and compression to help you squat with good technique. So there you guys go. That is it for today's quick Ask Squat You Show. The big takeaway is that a lot of times if you see someone that has an asymmetrical way of holding the barbell on their back, it's often not something that's mobility related. A lot of people should be able to get into this position. If they have an issue that they're showing on both sides, sure, it might be mobility. But often if I find that someone has one elbow that's locked in well, the other one that's jutted out, I'm often going to think stability first try to screen my external rotation strength, and then cue to properly pull under the barbell and create that symmetrical lat activation. Those are gonna be my first two go-tos. So, hope you guys liked today's quick Ask What You Show, my question of the daytime. 
It is almost summer. I want to know, are you guys going on any big vacations, any big trips? What are you guys planning on doing this summer? Let me know in your comments section below. Again, if you enjoyed the show, please continue to share them with your friends. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next week, guys, happy squatting. Hometown hero on the road doing shows and sold out arenas. You can call me what you want, but you won't ever slow my dreams up. This is the vision of a dreamer. I seem to.